regular art like this, and it's hard to get straight on with this pole. But here's my mini arts. Um, unfinished stuff here. Use my other hand. Stuff I need to work on. I never finished. Keep that neat, or else the shit will go to hell real quick. Thinking about listing these pumpkin ones for one cent because I like getting v when you list stuff on eBay for one cent with free shipping, you get a ton of interest and likes and watchers, and that alone is worth it to me. I don't really care about the money. Well, I care about the money, but I care more about the attention, and that's a good way to do it. Listen to stuff for a cent, or even like 89 cents or 92 cents or something. And there's something I'm going to, I'm going to start doing a lot of abstracts because I've been going crazy trying to think of images I want to paint, need to paint, but I can't because I procrastinate too much. I can't get nothing done, so I'm just going to do real simple stuff. Mermaid I was working on. Dreary Drug Girl. I just made that name up just now. I don't want to show you those other ones yet. I'm going to post those. But, uh, let's see. I got a desert scene. Get some light on it. Kind of like a black velvet, mini black velvet painting, but it's on paper. What else I got in this stack? Oh, that's one of my favorite ones. The Wicked Witch of the West, the East, or whatever it is. Crushed by the house. I might ask 15 bucks for that one. What else I got? One that didn't one that didn't really sell. Nobody seemed to want it. Bugged out eye snow person. That one's not come apart. Hawaiian Islands, Hawaiian Islands ghost woman. This thing is pretty blurry. Anyway, I want to get started painting something. And I'm going to get everything prepared while holding this thing. I'm going to... I started a new palette under there with a bunch of nice, clean, new colors. I probably should pull that one out instead of using this thing. I was just going to use black with this. Let's see if I can do this. The plastic off. Excuse me. Now you can see the difference between that other one and this. Nice and neat, clean. Uh, take the lid off. Put this down for a minute. Give me a good view of my cards there. Take the cover off. Leg there. I get something wet that I don't want to get wet, but watercolor pencils in there, pretty cheap, crappy ones. And then I got my markers in there. Give this a spray. Give this a spray. I'll get my spray my phone. It'll zap out on me. Okay, so I said I was going to do some simple stuff. I was going to, I painted a bunch of stuff just randomly because I wanted to 
see if I could see images, and I can see images in these, but apparently it wasn't enough to get me cracking on anything, so the only thing get me going is right now is the thought of just recording stuff and posting it on YouTube, and just using black over my colors, that's another thing, get me going. Let's see. I need a good brush. Because I probably it's only the only brush I'm gonna be using for a while probably. Okay, going with the black. That's a pocket, maybe I can hold it under my arm here. I got the light in the wrong place. Let's see. What do I want to put in there? Anything. Let's see. It's just a person. Figure of some kind. I need some... I need some water. Let's see. Use my drinking water here. Pour it in the middle of that thing. I get spill that, get all over everything. You weren't working too good for me. It's amazing what you can come up with when you're forced to, though. So, figure, maybe give him a little head thing. Maybe make this a kind of looks like a robot. So, That's what I'll make them. Get my eye. Need some more water. Come back. Boy, that's that's one of my one thing I don't like about using acrylics. They they want to dry up on you. It's like and it dries up too quick. So let's give him an arm. Give him a arm like that robot and that Simpsons cartoon. How does that look? I better give him a little something extra here. Like an antenna. Uh, I don't know what to put up here. Some sort of just a ball, I guess. Uh, give him this neck. Make these arms more. I probably put some more colors in that, but on this one. I was gonna. I saw something here. I was gonna put the part of my comic that I've been working on, sitting in a restaurant. Girl looking out a window. Kind of look like a window over here at an angle. Make sure the face looks somewhat. So that's what I'm gonna put. Some person, some girl looking out a window at something, some troubles makers outside the window, maybe. It's an arm with a sleeve, little t shirt sleeve, hair covering up this red part, neck. My dress brush is drying up. Some more black. I don't know how, how clear that is. Got this thing tucked, this pole tucked under my arm. The professional way. 
so we'll try not to get a window sill going there. It's a story of my painting life is messy, rough lines, and that's what I'm doing now. Why well, break tradition? So, does that look like a girl looking out a window? Put some some sort of landscape out here. Some people fighting over trivial things like they do. Making big deals out of nothing. And that's supposed to be something like a fair, but I ain't gonna put all that in there. This is gonna have to be put some sort of lines here to make it look more like a ground and sky above it. I hope that's not blurry on there. So, I'm gonna start making short videos too. I've been doing too long video, too much. Of course, I probably wouldn't do this at all if I wasn't filming it. But if I want more, I'll just pick up the camera again. But you get the basic idea of what I'm gonna start doing. I'll add more color, probably add more color to that. So. And this is what I, another thing I try to get myself going. I just put a bunch of black on a bunch of cards so I can try to see something in that. And I did see a lot of stuff, but somehow it wasn't enough to get me going. I probably put it, fill all the white parts with some color with my markers or something, or watercolor. Just call it an abstract. People love those abstracts, even though it's hard to get myself to paint those because I need more. And just crazy images that don't look like anything. That's what they are. Ab abstracts, that's what they are to me. Just crazy images that don't look like anything. And that's not really good enough for me at this point in my life. I was going to give her some hair, red hair. Let's pick her up. Do the old arm deal here. So, your uh, Wendy's hairstyle, or not, well, maybe a modern Wendy. Get some more paint. Frame in her face. Short hair. I might have to give her long hair. To make it look right. Boy, this red kind of looks transparent, doesn't it? Yeah, I may have to. Uh, try to get that f face framed in. It looks pretty good, I guess. Looks better on the camera. It's gonna have to do because I ain't putting a lot of work and stuff anymore. This is one this was one of my favorites I did. It's rare I take this I've done this with a blank card. It was just white. And it's just, everything here is just one layer. It's not most of the time I layer paint on top of color I already have on there, but in this one I did it. Let's get some more light on that. <laughs> This one I did, everything has this is on its own layer and it looks cool to me that way. Lady, I was gonna put a bowl of green beans or something that she's working on. Window on the background with the moon shining. I was probably gonna put some green bushes in there, but I don't know if I wanna do anything more because I might make it, muck it up. And there's another one of my favorites I've had for a while. 
I started on this like two years ago. I want to keep doing a little bit of stuff to it to make it better, but I'm having a hard time. This is like was part of my store. I was going to put some jeans on her. Carnival worker. or It's like, it's, it's part of one of my stories. It's like a story within a story. Like this girl works at a burger restaurant next to a carnival and that, and that it's a story in itself but it's a part of another bigger story one of my main stories that has nothing to, really nothing to do with the restaurant it's just like a uh, what's the word psychological thriller of a movie i'll probably never have to get made because i got too many ideas too much too many projects that's what I always wanted to be was a film director. Maybe that's what I'll have to force myself to do because probably the only thing that's going to give me any... I've been trying to make something happen here in a small town. It's never worked for me. So moving to the city and trying to be a director may be the only answer for me. Boy, I should have got a thing of water before I started... Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. One of my favorite books, art books. I had one just like that. Uh, it was pretty torn up, though, but I found this one just like it in the thrift store. So I had to have it. It was really in nice condition. A lot of good memories from 25 years ago when I first started pa painting that book. Anyway, catch y'all later.